Now we're going to talk about what's really in these e-cigarettes and vape pens. What is in e-cigarettes and vape pens? E-cigarettes are made of a battery, an atomizer with a heating coil, and an absorbent material that absorbs a liquid that can contain nicotine, flavoring, and chemicals. The battery allows the atomizer to heat the liquid, called e-juice, which creates an aerosol that is breathed into the lungs and breathed out into the air repeatedly. Some of these devices are preloaded with the e-juice that comes in bottles like these and others where the users add it themselves. The original e-cigarette looks like a cigarette, came preloaded, and were disposable. This is e-liquid, or sometimes called e-juice. This is what is put into the e-cigarette vape pen device and often contains flavors and nicotine. There are over 7,000 flavors of e-liquid that are made with flavoring chemicals and may or may not contain nicotine. The e-juice is heated inside the device and creates the flavors and aerosol that is inhaled into the body and out into the air. Let's read some definitions. Gas is a substance with indefinite expansion. When you let a gas out of its bottle, it will usually keep spreading out until it's completely mixed with the air. A vapor can mean the same as gas, but it also may be used to describe visible exhalation such as steam or fog. Vapor isn't a precise term as gas or aerosol. Aerosol is a mixture of liquid particles suspended in gas. Instead of just mixing with the air like pure gas, aerosols can leave drops behind. E-cigarettes and vape pens allow the user to make large clouds that, may, that many think E-cigarettes and vape pens allow the user to make large clouds that many think are just water vapor. In reality, the cloud is a mixture of many different chemicals that were either present in the e-liquid before or produced during the heating process. A vapor is a chemical that has evaporated. An aerosol is a mixture of liquid particles suspended in a gas and can contain many chemicals. Instead of just mixing with the air like pure gas, aerosols can leave drops behind. Here's a list of chemicals. Which of these do you think are found in the e-cigarette aerosol? All of these chemicals have been found in the e-cigarette aerosol. The ones in yellow are known to be harmful, and while we did not know this at first, many of these are the same chemicals found in traditional cigarettes. Simply put, e-cigarettes produce a vapor or aerosol that often contain propylene glycol, glycerin, flavorings, and nicotine, and many other harmful chemicals and toxins, some known to cause cancer. Nicotine itself is a highly addictive compound. And while not all contain nicotine, all have many of these chemicals and toxins. Although the chemicals that have been found in e-cigarette aerosols might seem unrecognizable, you are familiar with other places some of these same chemicals can be found. For example, propylene glycol can be found in antifreeze products and also used to winterize plumbing systems. Acetone is commonly found in nail polish remover and is a paint thinner. Ethyl benzene is also used to make other chemicals. It is found in other products including pesticides, synthetic rubber, varnishes, paints, and inks. Formaldehyde-based solutions are used in embalming, embalming to disinfect and temporarily preserve human and animal remains. Maybe the most important ingredient here is nicotine. Nicotine is a drug that is highly addictive in moderate doses and is the reason why smokers smoke even after they start getting sick. Of course, in high doses, it's a poison. In fact, plants make it to keep insects from eating them. It's a funny drug that has a lot of effects, but mostly it's an upper. Rubidium is a chemical that can be used to give fireworks their bright colors. So now you know that e-cigarette and vape pens produce aerosol, 
and that those aerosols contain harmful chemicals, how would you describe e-cigarette clouds to someone who says they're just water vapor?